Hi everyone, today we're going to learn a new times table trick. This video is part of a series. Be sure to check the descriptions for links to other times tables you may want to learn. I will be sure to update this list as I add other times table tricks. Now let's get started. So today guys, we're going to be focusing on the nine times tables. So the nine times table seems to be one that people have worked out a lot of different methods and different tricks that, that can be used. The one that is really popular that I've often used is the one of the hands. Now this one that we're doing today is not the hands, not nine times tables hands trick. It's more of a um, number patterns kind of uh, technique, which is really useful and just another way to do it. But of course, in my class, I would often start, start with that hands one. I like doing that little hands thing, but you might want to learn this strategy as well because it's really interesting to see how it works. So it's called go up, go down, I'm calling this one. So the way it works is we're actually going to start with writing the number nine. So I'm gonna write the number nine in blue. And I'll put it right there. Okay, and you'll see how it works in a second. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start counting down. I've got nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Once I get to zero, I'm gonna start back at nine. Nine and then eight, okay? So then what I'm going to do is, and I'll use the green here, I'm actually gonna start counting down. So I've counted, oh sorry, I'm gonna start counting, yeah, I'm gonna count down. So really it's just go down the whole way. So this time I'm gonna start well, I could actually, I think one of the reasons it's called go up is because I could start up here. So maybe I will start up here and this time I'm gonna count up. So then I'm gonna start with zero, then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now, this is the tricky part. I've got to do nine twice here and then 10. So I've just got to remember when I count up the second time I have to do nine, okay? And so that's the pattern. So I'm counting down, nine, eight, seven, six, down to zero, then nine and eight. And then I go back up here and now I count up. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine again, 10. And that's the trick there. So interesting way how the nine seem to work together. Another really good little trick that I've seen, I think and it's connected with the fingers trick, Zero and nine is nine, one and eight is nine, two and seven is nine, three and six is nine, four and five is nine, five and four is nine, six and three is nine, seven and two is nine, eight and one is nine, nine and zero is nine. Only time it doesn't work is 11 times nine, nine and nine is 18, of course, so that doesn't work. But one plus zero plus eight is nine, so it does work there. So it's really interesting how the nines tab times tables seem to work together really nicely. Just before I finish up, I have some tips for learning times tables. So number one, learn the pattern first and use the tricks. Number two, then practice with some speed, making sure you do it in order. Number three, mix the times tables up to ensure you know them at any time. And number four, speed is great, but accuracy is more important and is better. So make sure that you're accurate when you're doing your times tables. Thanks everyone.